Part 5 Rational and Irrational Roots You will find this on page 7 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Rational Roots Roots can be written as vulgar or common fractions like this. A will be an integer and B will also be an integer. B can just not be 0. Okay. So if I go and I say the square root of 2 to 5, that's 15. So how can I write it as a vulgar fraction? 15 over 1. So it's a rational root. If I say the cube root of 15.625, that's 2.5. It can be written as 2.5 or 2 and 5 over 10, which will simplify to 2.5. And, and if I say the cube root of negative 5, 1, 2, that will be negative 8. And I can make it a vulgar fraction by saying negative 8 over 1. So all these examples are rational roots. Irrational roots. Roots cannot be written as an exact vulgar fraction. So if you press this on the calculator, you get this. And it's not stopping. So it's unpredictable decimals. Decimals do not stop. And because they cannot stop, we cannot write this as a vulgar fraction. And therefore, it's an irrational root. If I take the cube root of 5, I'm getting exactly the same. It's not stopping. I don't know if I must put it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros or 8 because it's not stopping. And then this one, 2 square root of 2, 1, 1. This is this. And again, it's going on the decimals. And therefore, it cannot be written as a vulgar fraction. And we call all of these examples irrational roots. The best is to test it on a calculator. If the full calculator display is full of unpredictable decimals, it is an irrational root. Okay, let's look at an example. So, list of numbers, I'm giving you a list. Then from the above list of numbers, write down a non-real number. Now remember, a non-real number is numbers that's not existing in school mathematics. So if you press this on the calculator, it's going to work, it's going to work. But if you press this, you get an error. And as soon as you get an error, that's a non-real number. If you press this on the calculator, you get an answer. Um, it's a... Um, Irrational number, but it's working. It's not giving you an error. Okay. So a rational number, if you press this on the calculator, remember, then it's going to give you, it's not cube root, it's square root. So it's not stopping, so it's irrational. If you press this on the calculator, you get 8. So you can write it as a vulgar fraction, and that's why it's rational. And if you're going to say, um, let's go on, 3.4, it stops, so you can make it a vulgar. You can say 3 and 4 over 10, which will simplify to, okay, let's just write it down. So if you say 3 and 4 over 10, it can simplify to 3 and 2 over 5, which is a vulgar fraction, and that's why it's a rational. And again, that's already a vulgar fraction, so it's also a rational number. And then the irrational will be the ones that's left, and that will be the square root of 8. Can you see? You cannot write it as a vulgar fraction. And then the cube root of negative 30. You cannot write it as a vulgar fraction. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 5, number 1. Okay. And do number A, B, C, D, E, F as well as number G. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So this is try now five. Let's start with number A. Decide whether the following are rational or irrational. So if I look at number A, it's the cube root of 81. Press it on the calculator, and the calculator is going to say 4.32674871, da, 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 and therefore it will be irrational. Okay, let's look at number B. If I look at number B, it's the square root of 27, not the cube root. 
So if I press it on the, I get 5.196152423 going on, and that's why it's irrational. If I look at number C, now this is a fraction, 2, 2, 5 over 2, but I can press this on the calculator and I will get 7.5. It stops. So I can make it a vulgar fraction. I can say 7 and 5 over 10, and that will be 7 and a half. And that's why it is rational. Okay. And then the next one, number D. It's 2 and square root 8. Press that on the calculator. Press square root 8 times 2. And you get 5.65685424, da, 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 and that's why it's irrational. And then we will go to number E, and number E is 22. It's already a vulgar fraction. It's not the real pi. That's why it is rational. Because you can see it's already a vulgar fraction. And then number F, it's also 3,14. It stops. So you can make it. You can say it's 3 and 14 over 100, which will simplify to 3 and 14. Let's just correct that. Um, that will be 14 over 100, which will be 7 over 50. And can you see it's rational? So it's a vulgar fraction, so that's a rational number. And then the last one. The last one is number G. If you see the real pi, this is the real pi, it will always be a irrational. Irrational. number. Okay. 